it's time. This is a video no one asked for, but I'm really excited about it, so... Let me have my moment, okay? You already know from the title, but inside this box is an espresso virtuo. Virtuo? I don't know how to say it. And this guy has been sitting in my apartment for two days just staring at me, but I wanted to film an unboxing and review. So that's what we're doing today. I thought, what better place to open something than just the floor of my apartment? You know, genius. My cat, Daphne, is going to love this box more than any other toy that she has right now, in this moment. Because you know, you buy cats toys, they don't care. They don't care about your feelings or how much money you paid for them. They don't. They want the box, okay? They want the Trader Joe's bag. They want that, that random pen that fell on the floor. They want the lint that comes up from your pants. Okay, I'm done, I'm done, I'm sorry. Here she is in all her glory. And I can already see, I can get $10 off my first coffee order. I'm so excited. It's like Christmas. Except I'm an adult and I can buy whatever I want, whenever I want. Just remember that, adulthood. It's great sometimes. Frame. Hold up. I'm grateful to have a short roommate because there's always a stool around. I'm aware that this is a ridiculous setup, but I'm ridiculous. Nice to meet you. Oh my gosh, does it come with mugs? Shut up. I think it comes with mugs. Sweet. About to up my coffee game. About to up my iced coffee game. Oh, I could cry. Does anyone else hate the sound of styrofoam? I hate it. Okay, this is the Arachino. This is the milk frother. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't breathe. Very heavy. Wait, so does it not come with the cups? Because on the side it has like the frother, the capsules, and picture of cups and all. Oh. There it is, a real small font. Cups not included. This is the point of the video where I move from the floor to the new setup of where I'm keeping the espresso. So give me just a second. How terrible was that transition on a scale of like, not terrible to like terrible. So basically while I was setting it up, I just decided to read some of the instructions since I need to clean it first and then we'll get making some coffee. But I'm gonna do the off camera because that's boring. Okay, so I'm back and the gang's all here. So I went ahead and cleaned the Nespresso, obviously added water to the tank, I cleaned the Arachino and I think now it's time to make a coffee. I think for now I just want a plain hot coffee, but you know, you already know I'm gonna be making iced coffee, probably today, if not tomorrow. And I need to order more pods because they give you like this nice little starter pack here. Obviously I'm gonna have to order more because I don't know how many's in this and I have a feeling that I can easily finish these in no time at all. This is so fancy, I feel, I feel so bougie for owning this now. Like this is not, my brand at all. You wanna see the coffee maker I have? This is my coffee maker. It's like little, it's like a little. Cause there are gonna be days where I just want regular plain black coffee or I want iced coffee. And what I do is I'll brew coffee in this coffee pot, put it in a mason jar, put it in the fridge. And then I've got my iced coffee. I love my Mr. Coffee. I will not be getting rid of him, okay? Love him, it was a gift for my mom. Like. He's here to stay. The Nespresso was just kind of like that horrible stepmom that marries your dad and she's like super rich and bougie and this is like her fourth husband. And like everyone acts like they hate her, but like low key deep down, she's actually kind of nice and kind of cool. And she just like gave off this really bad vibe in the beginning and like 
everyone pretended to hate her but you actually really like her but she'll like give you money and stuff and like she'll actually buy you alcohol on the low and so like you have to like pretend like oh like she's too cool for me like we can't get along but like secretly you like her what is wrong with me i mm. i will honestly probably order pods right after i film this video because there are 12 in here which that's not a lot at all let's see which one i want right now these are the Virtuo, the Virtuo pods, whatever you want to call them, whatever their pronunciation is. So these are a little bit different than the classic, but they're super cute. If anyone knows me, I try to be as environmentally friendly as possible. I try to limit like my plastic wear, like one time use items. So this was like, I really bit my tongue when I bought this because I, the reason I have my Mr. Coffee is because it has a reusable coffee filter. So like I never have to waste coffee filters. I just use this, rinse it out, perfect. So I was kind of cringing when I bought this because I was like, oh, it's like a podge, gonna go in the trash. But it saves, I guess it like drops into the machine and actually Espresso does this like, recycling give back kind of thing so when i order my next box it's going to come with like a green bag and i don't know how it works obviously because i've not done it but apparently you can send the pods back and they recycle them i don't know if that's true or not but i'm gonna be hopeful and assume that they are doing a good thing and recycling so i can have some peace of mind so the altos are the 14 ounce ones the coffee slash cafe or like your regular cup of coffee and lungo grand lungo i don't know i'm sorry this is probably like the worst pronunciation is a five ounce coffee and then you have a double espresso as the two ounce and a regular espresso as a one ounce. Wow, see how much you can find out when you read things. So I think I'm gonna do the Melo Melozio. I'm so sorry, that pronunciation is awful. So not this one, it's gonna be fun for me to find it. Is it this one? Okay, we're gonna do the Melozio, which is this one right here. I'm assuming that when you put the pod in, it's just gonna automatically do whatever size it is. So this is like I said, the 7.7. .7. So hopefully this will just make, like it's just gonna know, I guess. So we're gonna put it in there. I have my cup that we're gonna use. It's a little bit bigger than the stand for it, but whatever, it's fine. It's all right. So we're gonna close it and then you lock it. So you turn it all the way. And then I think it's ready because it's a steady light. So we're gonna go ahead and press it once. And she's gonna get ready for blast off. And while that's going, I should make some frothed milk. That has to go on the stand, right? Does that just sit on there like that? Oh my God, look at her go. Oh my gosh, this is so fast. It said it was gonna take a while. Okay, whatever, do your thing, girl. Sorry. Um, okay, so I just filled it to like that first max line and I guess we just put it right there. It doesn't feel really sturdy, but whatever. I think it's okay. And then put the lid on. So I'm just gonna push right here and hopefully it frosts the milk. It just doesn't seem sturdy on here, but whatever, here we go. I guess it's going or is it heating up? I don't know, but if that's it, it's very, very, very quiet. So it's already done. That took about, I think a minute or less. I don't know, but it was very, very fast. And I honestly went back over to the manual and I looked at it because I was wondering if I did something wrong because it was just so quick, but I think it's finished. So we're gonna go ahead and take this over and add it to the coffee. So here's the coffee and then here is the frothed heavy cream. Don't mind the trash on the floor from when I unboxed it down there, okay? If I can do it with one hand. Oh, no way. Wow. Okay. Let's see what this looks like. Just gonna give it a little stir. I don't know if I did something wrong. I feel like when I've seen people use their Nespresso's, it's like when they froth the milk, it is like foamy and thick and it looks amazing. Not that this didn't look amazing, but let me show you what it's supposed to look like. I mean, mine did not come out looking like that. So I'll have to play around with it a little bit. Maybe I did something wrong. And now the best part is the taste test. So let's see how it is. Ugh, so 
good. And that right there is exactly why I bought the Nespresso because it just hits differently. The couple times I've had it in my life, it's just so good. I don't know what they do to their coffee pods. I don't know what, what they do, but it is just so delicious. Oh, I'm obsessed. I'm so happy. I can't wait to make an iced coffee though, but might have to do that tomorrow. Don't wanna go crazy on day one, but so happy. That is all I have for today's video where I was unboxing and reviewing the Nespresso Virtuo machine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't know if this is something or a style of video that you guys enjoy. I just wanted to really explore the Nespresso machine on camera and try it out because I was longing for its delivery and I was so excited when I got it. So there you go. I personally am someone that will drink any kind of coffee. I love coffee. I mean, I can go to like a random breakfast diner and drink black coffee. I can drink Starbucks. I can drink like really fancy drinks in cafes, whatever. I don't particularly call myself a coffee snob because I'll just drink any kind of coffee really. I would recommend the Nespresso machine. I probably could have survived my whole life without buying one, but you know, when it's on sale, it's on sale and you just do what you gotta do. I've been around people that have Nespresso's and I've been able to try coffees through their machine. So that was also one of the reasons I decided to buy it because I already knew how it tasted. I knew how amazing it was. I just broke down and bought one. So even though I've only had it for like a couple days and have used it for less than a half hour, I would still recommend one for anyone that's interested in buying one. I think it's a great investment. I definitely think you should consider buying one on sale though because I ended up ordering this one on Bloomingdale's and I think the original price was like $4.50 or something. And I think with shipping and tax and everything, I only paid like $130, which is significantly less than the original price, which I don't like to pay full price for a lot of things. So I try to find sales when I can. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you tap the bell, you'll be notified every time I post a video. I'm learning that the more engagement that you have on your videos, the more likely that YouTube is to recommend your video on the little side column or when you just open up YouTube in general. So comment down below if you have an espresso machine, do you want one? What kind of coffee do you like? Let me know so I can chat back with you. And if you enjoyed this video or you enjoy unboxing videos don't forget to give it a thumbs up for me thanks again for watching and i'll see you in the next video